Hey guys, welcome back. So, Tilt Day has finally ended, and um, it's a new day now. So I have new goals, new plans, new, new motivation and drive. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck up that B9 golem. Um, I was on Tilt yesterday because I actually never mentioned it because I was, I was trying some things out on stream, and I was doing, um, I was doing these, these, these four. Um, for Golems B9 and actually failed really really badly. I spent half a day trying to get him to 5 stars max level yesterday. I raised him from 3 stars all the way to max 5 star max level. Um, he's currently EVO 2 and when I got into max level I realized that his recovery base recovery is actually really really low. Like even if you get him to EVO 3 I think it's only like a thousand like 300 base or something like that which is a lot lower than a lot of the other monsters like for example the the Hana who has like a 2000 base recovery um, same thing as like the the siren, but I was thinking of uh, um, I, I actually got got this idea that you know if I if I can't the, since the wood um, dungeon doesn't do a lot of damage, what if I run two healers instead of one? You know, so what if I just ran another healer to to pair up with this guy, like another fire healer, and just run like the full fire team? And I was thinking something like maybe run him, run the um, I got I got a I bought this uh, fire coteen from the shop and happen to have two diamond slots which is really nice. I was thinking like running him. I could also make him a variant to increase the blue soul recovery and use his leader skill. Um, and he also has a sap on his first skill and he has a heal that is that also gives an attack up um, which will help me help me take down the boss faster. So I was thinking of like using healers that have sap and then just running like double healers to to stay alive and they still do damage to the boss because of their sap. Um, I was thinking like you know ba basically use these use that guy and then use um, you know use use the use use this guy use the use the coteen and then you know when I raise my dark or get my dark cupid um, gemmed up and then use him as well because he's an, also an offensive um, healer if you can get his HP high he has aggression based on HP so he's able to um, do a lot of damage with his with his aggression if if you can also get his um, you know his HP high enough he also has a shield that scales with HP so definitely something worth using I was thinking running like triple healer and then like one one um, you know nuker or something like that like maybe the Arthur just just to just to do some damage and also provide some CC against the um, you know the first wave I think the first wave is pretty weak so I, I probably don't really need, need that I was thinking maybe just raise him to um, 6 stars whenever I can. I can pretty much do it very very soon once Dark Day comes around, which is in a few days. And also I can get my Arthur to 6 stars, I have the goal to do it. I just probably need to spend some time in the in the um, Starstone dungeon to get like more, more high star stones. And then I can definitely raise them. Yeah, I think I think this is pretty good. I can probably, uh, you know, I can fuse like 40 or so mid stones to high stones. Probably don't need to fuse all of it, but probably I can fuse some of it, and I don't need to um, worry that much about gold because I do have a lot of gold saved up right now, like ready to make a lot of six stars. I'm just kind of um, experimenting right now to make sure I six star the right monsters and I don't waste my resources. So that's pretty much it. Um, I was thinking of buying a pack again, like spending some, making some investments to. to tr to test out the um, the new summon rates, I was actually really surprised because I I got I did a free summon this morning and got a got a um, I think it was a wood cura. Like I never got lightning from a free summoning, so it was it was pretty good. Um, probably gonna save her to make my cura eventually six stars. I think this month I'm gonna make my cupid. Um, Evil, evil two, and then save this cupid, and then you know in the future I'm probably gonna gleam up, gleam up this cupid, and then like you know when I have like two more other cupids, um, make him evil three because he's definitely worth it. I'm gonna try to do the same thing with my cura, but it's gonna have to wait for next, wait till next month because I don't have, you know, gleams to make her evil two, unless I pull like a shit ton of curas, which probably is gonna be a little bit difficult. Um. Yeah, there a lot of people recommend like I use like the Wild Fang or the or or Leo for like B9, but I don't have the like I really don't want to use an Evil One, but if I make him Evil Two, I don't want to sacrifice my um my Wood Leo because the Wood Leo is also really really strong as well. So I I definitely want don't want to feed him away. 
Same thing with the same thing with the wild thing. Like I, I um, you know, I can use these three to make her evil too. But I also want to raise the light wild thing. Like pretty much the near future. So I definitely don't want to feed these away either. Um, so that's kind of just my my take on it. Um, yeah, just kind of limited in resources right now. I'm just waiting for. Kind of waiting for, also waiting for the the uh, the rebirth to to end in six days because I I had to release a lot of monsters just now because I, you know, my my monster pool was like getting really really full. Um, maybe I should wait for wait like six, wait another week before I I do another like you know big summon because I probably need to need to uh, save some room. But the good thing is I can use my room to 150 now, so I'll have a little bit more room to work with. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. I think that's that's all I can really do for for the game right now. If you guys have any recommendations, definitely um, you know definitely comment below because I I really you know I, I really do appreciate the help, like whatever help I can get, because I. I'm not the most experienced in this game, and there's not a lot of like guides out there. Like, there's some posts on Reddit, like, "Hey, I did a, I made a B something team with like these these units," and then usually it involves like the Dark Jack or something, and I, I don't have that. Um, and I can't really, I can't really use anything to like replace that. Like, if I just throw in two healers, it's not it's not the same thing. Um, so that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.